This was supposed to be a New York City vlog. I was in New York City this past weekend. It was so much fun, but definitely things did not go according to plan. So it got me thinking about this whole subject, especially post-grad when you have this certain idea in your mind of what you want life to look like. And then literally a million things happen that are not that one thing. So I wanted to talk about things not going according to plan. But first, let's see how the weekend started. <laughs> this weekend visiting some friends some family I have like looking a bunch of family that live here and pretty much all my friends from college live here which I feel like I've told you guys before but yeah I'm so excited I love this city it's always so much fun right now I'm headed to go get a coffee lunch situation with Alexis Eldridge she's another youtuber I've never met her in person but I'm so excited it's always fun meeting other creators in person so Okay, we're going to the modern, wait, I need to make sure I'm going the right way. Let me check. We're going to Modern Bread and Bagel, which is this entirely gluten-free restaurant on the Upper East Side. I'm like out of breath now. I'm like kind of delirious because my flight was so early this morning, but I low-key did sleep a lot because I slept six and a half hours last night, which I was honestly impressed by because I had to wake up at four. And then I slept like most of the time on the plane too. So, okay, of course it's quiet right here, right as I'm finishing up vlogging, but let's go get some lunch. <laughs> Update, we've just been chatting the afternoon away. Yes. I'm with Melissa, Chit -chat -chat. my friend from college. Hi. And I may or may not be about to make a big purchase. We're gonna go to YSL. I'm so excited. This wasn't that spontaneous, but like kind of spontaneous. I don't know. I've been thinking about this for a really long time, so like we'll see. I might chicken out while we're in there, but no, we have she more can't support. <laughs> I'm holding her accountable vlog because you have to update everyone. Let's go. Hi! Okay, it's been a minute. I'm in my friend Jessica's apartment. This is this is where I'm staying, by the way. I'm obsessed with her apartment. She lives in Chelsea, and it's gorgeous. I'm also wearing her shirt because I only packed dresses, really, and sweaters, and I just didn't have a good vibe for going out. I really thought I packed amazingly, but I packed poorly. I did end up getting the YSL bag. I'll do an unboxing probably tomorrow. I just don't have time. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, but I'm excited to show you guys. I love her. This is like my first real like designer purchase ever. I was really in need of a nice black bag, so I'm really happy with it. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup super duper fast. I'm going to see Almost Famous tonight with one of my friends. I'm so excited. And then we're gonna go out afterwards, hence the going out outfit. Of course, it's like a little bit too big for me, so I tucked it in and it, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> I just need to touch up my makeup. I'm literally breaking out so much. It's so annoying, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, isn't it? Any Love Island fans out there? I'm like obsessed with Love Island UK. It's my favorite thing in the world. Makeup feels really grimy right now too. my makeup and then hit the town. raining i look absolutely awful i had a crazy morning trying to edit my vlogmas and then just like get ready and i was already so tired from the night i got ready in five minutes i forgot to put on any jewelry i just feel like i look so bad it's fine we're making it through we're going to the smith i've never been there so it'll be fun let's go i'm in a hurry i'm like 25 minutes late not my finest hour Hello, I am not in New York anymore. As you can probably tell, I am back in my bathroom in Chicago. And I kind of want to have a little post-grad diaries chat with you guys. Because I felt like the last one I did really resonated with a lot of you. And I feel like we got to connect about things not going according to plan. Because that was the theme of my entire weekend in New York City. This video was supposed to be a cute little New York City vlog. My weekend in New York City, seeing all my friends, my family, cute little restaurants, everything. And that is not what it is ended up being. Before I get into it, I just want to say that it was a great weekend regardless and I'm so lucky that I was able to travel and like at the end of the day, it was a great weekend. Nothing earth shattering happened in my life at all. I'm still healthy and like so grateful to make it back safely. Like literally, I have so many things to be grateful for. I'm not complaining at all. I just wanted to talk about my feelings. I think there's totally space for acknowledging that things aren't going perfectly, but still being so grateful for everything that is going amazing 
tingling. You guys know what I mean. I just like don't want this to come off as me complaining because I'm really not. I'm just trying to speak to my honest experiences. And even though this weekend was probably like a little bit of an inconvenience for me, at the end of the day, I'm still so grateful. Not complaining at all. Like it was still such a fun trip. There were a few things that happened that weren't according to plan. And I'm kind of like a type A person. I haven't always been, but ever since post-grad, I feel like I've been super like meticulous about my schedule and like planning. And I don't know, I can be spontaneous, but I also just really like having a plan. Like when I go on a trip, I make a full itinerary because I want to make sure I see everything, do everything I want. And normally it ends up being like way too much and I kind of go crazy, which totally happened this trip too. But I, I don't like it when things do not go according to plan, but I feel like 95% of the time in life, things don't go according to plan. If not 99% or 100%. Things are always gonna happen, not necessarily things that are completely awful, but just different things that you weren't expecting to happen. So all of that to say, I got food poisoning when I was in New York. I've never had food poisoning before. I think it was from Chipotle. I'm like 99% sure it was from Chipotle. Basically what happened is I have this crazy itinerary and I realized that I didn't have dinner plans on Friday and I was in between getting my YSL bag and hanging out with my friend Melissa and then going to a show, Almost Famous, with my friend Rachel. And I was like, you know what? Let me just deliver some Chipotle to my friend's apartment because I barely have time to get ready and I just need to like lay down. So I ordered Chipotle, it's fine, it's normal. They don't bring me the chips that I ordered, but. I was like, whatever. So I do that, long story short, I see the show. I'm like feeling like a little queasy during the show, but I was thinking it was just because I literally woke up at 3 a.m. that morning <laughs> to get to New York and I was just tired. And then after the show, we end up going out. We go to a couple bars and I ordered a margarita and immediately after two sips, I felt so nauseous. I was like, what's going on? This is so weird. Like I must just be tired. So then I stopped drinking the margarita. It was like $20 and I had three sips of it. I stayed out for like an hour longer. It wasn't too bad. I really just thought I was not because of the day and being dehydrated and then when I got back to my friend's apartment I think like you know when you're like in a club and then you go back to the bathroom or whatever and then you like really feel your senses <laughs> whenever I got back to my friend's apartment I really felt nauseous and I was like okay this is so weird but like let me just sleep it off like it wasn't to the point of extremeness wake up I feel completely normal I feel like everything's fine well I don't know if I felt completely normal but whatever then I go to brunch and I'm like drinking coffee having these really spicy like poached eggs and potatoes it didn't really settle in my stomach well but I didn't think too much of it so I didn't eat that much of it so I was pretty hungry so I didn't really get a solid brunch so then when I went back to the apartment after brunch I had the rest of my Chipotle leftovers which actually was a lot like I didn't really have that much of the Chipotle the day before so I basically finished the Chipotle it tasted fine like I don't remember it tasting weird or anything and then I get ready to leave for the night I'm going to this Christmas bar with my friends at five so we were starting the night like super early I was feeling totally fine there Wash morning I'm gonna talk about some digestive issues so if you don't like hearing about that skip forward but I'm at this bar I feel fine and then I start feeling like a little weird, but I'm like, oh, I'm just tired. Like I had alcohol, we're about to get dinner. Like dinner will be great. Then I go to the bathroom before we leave and I have diarrhea and I don't really think anything of it. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm traveling. Like your stomach gets messed up when you travel sometimes. And then we take the subway over to dinner and I'm really prone to motion sickness. Like I throw up really easily if I'm like on a windy path or like on the train or something. And I was feeling a little nauseous on the subway, but I was like, oh, it's just the motion sickness. It'll go away. And then we get to the restaurant and I'm like waiting to order and it's getting worse and worse and worse. I literally look so awful my friends are like are you okay and I'm like no I feel awful I don't know what's up I go to the bathroom try to throw up I can't throw up I order this amazing gluten-free lasagna from this place it looked like stunning like so good it probably was gonna be the best lasagna of my life but I just couldn't stomach eating it it came and I was like I can't do this like I gotta leave I'm moving I'm going back to your apartment thank god I did because like pretty much as soon as I got there I ended up vomiting and diarrheaing and like all the like, gross stuff and it was awful and by that point it was like 8 p.m. I had these whole going out plans I was gonna go to this pregame and then go out to a bar I was literally so excited here I am flew all the way to New York to hang out with my friends that I only get to see a few times a year and I have food poisoning and I'm stuck in my friend's room just like lying in bed <laughs> trying to sleep off the nausea. So I ended up just going to bed really early and calling it a night because I could not stomach going anywhere. And I was just like crying because I was like, this is awful. Obviously there's bigger problems in the world, but I was like, I flew all the way here and then I get sick. Like that's honestly never happened to me. I guess I'm really lucky in that regard, like getting sick on a trip where like I had to stay in. So I was like, this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> and then the next morning at brunch, I like, my stomach was still settling. I didn't really feel that good. So I couldn't really eat that many things. I just wanted toast, but then I'm gluten-free and the restaurant we went to didn't have gluten-free toast. So I ended up just having 
cutting potatoes and everything ended up working out I just didn't really feel so hot on Sunday and then a lot of my plans ended up changing and I couldn't see some people that I wanted to see it was just unfortunate luck so all that to say it just got me thinking about in life how things don't go according to plan especially in post-grad because it's not like you have your classes you know exactly where you're gonna be in three years you're gonna be a junior you're gonna be still in school it's pretty much gonna go according to plan even though like in school obviously not everything goes according to plan but it's a little bit more according to plan than it is in the outside world. This small example is just kind of a metaphor for life and how like things aren't gonna go according to plan and like at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do to control it. Should I have ordered Chipotle while I was in New York? Probably not, but like I did. I guess I could have controlled not ordering Chipotle, but I could have gotten food poisoning from any restaurant. It's not really just Chipotle and that's completely out of my control and it was not according to plan, but like you kind of just have to roll with the punches and make the most of it, even though it sucks. Like what I was saying in my other video, I really do feel like everything happens for a reason. I don't want to think like morbidly, but I don't know, maybe something else would have happened. Maybe I needed that night of rest. Maybe I just needed to know what food poisoning felt like because I've never experienced it before never know what's gonna happen and you can have this plan but like literally there's so many other factors in life that are so out of your control that there's the highest percentage chance in the world that your plan is not gonna see itself to fruition and that's okay and it's still good to have a plan so you have like a direction but i feel like you just have to be more open-minded so that when your plan is derailed you can still have a good time you can still make the most of it and you can still achieve your dreams just like maybe in a little different way so yeah i just feel like when you're post-grad you had this plan of what you wanted your life to look like in college and then when you actually get out there in the real world things can totally change for example right now we're in a recession so if anyone's graduating at the end of this coming year there might be less job opportunities and your dream job that you really really wanted and you're working towards throughout all of college might not be even accepting applications so you just have to be able to like roll with the punches and apply to something else that you're still gonna like or will help you get to the next thing that you really want to do or even be open to something totally different that actually you might even like way more than what you thought you'd like this entire time for me when i was graduating i was graduating during covid and covid had been happening for at least like a year and a half i wasn't a 2020 grad i was a 2021 grad so it wasn't like as dramatic as 2020 grads i feel like but basically i had this internship that i was gonna have summer before my senior year that was canceled because of covid and i was like well shit like i don't know what to do anymore i really wanted to work more in the entertainment space but when i graduated in 2021 that was still something that was really hard to hire for also honestly just had no clue how much those jobs paid and what they were paying was not going to match up with the lifestyle that I wanted so I ended up having to adjust the jobs that I was applying for and I ended up finding something that worked out but it's not a job that I ever planned for had the company logo on my vision board or anything like that so I just kind of had to be flexible and open to a different opportunity more of my dream career is more in the lines of something more creative which I've been able to do not in a full-time capacity but in a part-time capacity with this channel and with the freelance tiktok work that i do on the side and that was never something that was in my dream i kind of dreamed just having a very stereotypical like nine to five then you log off i can go party after hours or whatever and just have fun and now it's i definitely have a lot more hours during the week that i'm working than i anticipated so it's not necessarily according to the plan that i had when i was 20 but here i am i'm 23 and i'm figuring it out same thing with relationships I feel like right now I'm in a four-year long-term relationship. It's amazing. But when my boyfriend and I met each other, I definitely was not looking to get in a relationship. I kind of wanted to have like a single era in college. I thought it would be fun. But then I met him and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like you're my person. Like, this is amazing. And then I was, you gotta do this, you know? I feel like things can unexpectedly happen in your life that are amazing, which means that it's not gonna be according to your plan, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be like open to receiving them or at least like reflecting about them i have no plans to move or anything like that but if my company was like oh like you're gonna get a promotion to this role but you have to be like in person in la i have no plans to move like my lease here doesn't even end till next year but that sounds awesome and i'd have to be like open to figuring out how maybe that could potentially work if that opportunity came about because that seems like an amazing opportunity i can't just be like oh no like i signed a lease like there's no way i can figure that out like you kind of have to be open and adjust your life a little bit and see where things go you know for example last 
here i was living with two other roommates and one of the roommates got this like really cool job in the middle of the year so she ended up having to move to the total opposite side of the country is that something like any of us plan for no so you just kind of have to like roll with the punches and just your life for whatever is happening even though you were expecting living with some person and now all of a sudden they're not living with you which is really hard to do obviously and i'm not trying to belittle that it can bring up like certain emotions especially when you're like really looking forward to something in your life and then it changes like i do think that there's room to have like a little bit of a morning period like for me on saturday when i got food poisoning i was totally having a morning period i was like this sucks man like i'm crying <laughs> and then it's like okay the next day there's no use crying anymore like we gotta move on and i feel like finding that time where like you flip the switch and you move on is really hard because there is something to say about not letting things affect you at all like if i didn't cry at all on saturday i feel like that would have been like a little weird like if i was just like okay whatever like it was sad like i had a right to be sad but i feel like you know i mean it's different for everyone but for me it's like okay i can be sad an hour and i can call my boyfriend and be like oh this sucks and then i gotta move on other things are happening you gotta move on obviously the more serious things that don't go according to plan you can give yourself way more time but I feel like that is kind of a hard thing to know. How much time do I really need to be like hung up on this? And obviously like things never leave you, especially like grief and stuff like that. Like that's something that's always gonna be a part of your life. You still just have to carry on and, and live life. As Kourtney Kardashian says, we're just living life. Five right now is just living life. So those are my thoughts on things not going according to plan. Again, this is a diary. I'm just kind of speaking how I'm feeling. I'm not really giving any answers here, but I hope you can relate to this. Comment your thoughts down below and like how you feel about this situation too. Too, or like how it's applied to your life i feel like it's always good for us to connect more and show support with each other in the comments in the last postgrad diaries video that i did everyone was super vulnerable in the comments and shared their stories and i thought it was really beautiful so if you're open to that i think that would be really cool to do again i am actually switching to uploading two days a week when i was in new york my youtuber friend alexis inspired me to do this so get excited hopefully i'll do all the videos on time and everything so subscribe so you don't miss it. Check out my Instagram if you haven't yet and I will talk to you guys in the next video.